Hey guys, welcome back to this video. And guys, if you guys want me to do more videos like this, I will. Now, if you don't, I won't, guys. But basically, I'm gonna be doing like a top five best characters for beginners and all around characters. So, let's jump straight into this video. Okay, guys. So, our first pick is gonna be May. So, guys, so our first pick, I chose May because she is, like, really good. And I'll show you guys in, like, one sec on how good May is. But basically, guys, if you don't, like, you haven't played the game much, she can build a wall, she can go inside of egg type things, and she can freeze people holding L2, and shoot like a little icicle with L2. So, I'm gonna show you how effective May is against another person. So, I'm not that good with May right now, guys. But, as you saw just before I died, that guy got frozen. And that's what May can do. And if May freezes someone, she can go in with her L2 and shoot an icicle at their head and like wreck them. But, coming in the second pick. Okay guys, our second pick is Tracer. So to me, Tracer is an all-around good character, guys. And her specials are teleport forward and go back in time. So if you know how to use Tracer really well, guys, you can spread. So, Let's just keep attacking, guys, and uh, just show you what Tracer can do. So once you get hurt, guys, if you go back, like travel back, you will gain health again. But, yeah. Um... Like, as I'm recording this video for a gameplay, I'm not being the best. I'm sorry about that, so I can't show you the full potential. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the next one. So we finally have a tank, guys. And I put Ryan Hart in here, guys, because he can tell he can throw, like, fire from his hammer and for the shield gun. So, like, he's pretty good if you guys say, like, if you guys think so, it's, he's hard to get really good with, but he's good enough for what the character is. And it's really good when people are like down stairs and you can charge and just kill them. I'll try to show you guys the charge. But that is the charge, guys. It'll one shot pretty much anyone that's not, like anyone that's not a tank. So it'll one shot anyone that's not a tank, guys. And that's why he's in at this pit. So let's move on to the fourth pick. Okay guys, for a fourth pick, I chose Bastion. And most people would like Bastion because Bastion is the most resemblance of a Call of Duty character. Because he has like, grenades and shoots like regular stuff. So like the basic Call of Duty pretty much 
So that's why I chose Bastion and in a sec I'm gonna be showing you guys gameplay. Okay guys, now I'm showing you guys what Bastion can do. So Bastion can blow a heal and he can run, he can go and just call people. I know, I'm not doing my best right now. So, those are four kick guys. This is in no particular order, like I said. Like, this doesn't mean he's best and he's the worst. But, here is the next character. I'm sorry to say guys, but this is actually not the last character. But these are some honorable mentions. But I'm not good with Roadhog, but I can't one-shot people like you see everyone dealing with Roadhog. But Roadhog is pretty good. You have a hook. Like, I'm not good because I just see a combo that kills me. But I'm sorry that I am not good with Roadhog at all. And here's the second honorable mention. Oh, second animal mention, guys, I completely messed that up, but it is Hanzo, and sorry Hanzo didn't make the list, but Hanzo can actually spread people. But, you guys probably saw what Hanzo can do. And now let's move on to the last character. So our fifth character, guys, is Genji. So I'm probably, I'm probably sure most good people would expect that Genji would have made this list. And and he did, guys. But, you guys can see what Genji can do. He can find walls and do all the stuff you probably want Genji to do. He's a ninja stealth, like character. And he can double jump. He can go and fight people if you guys know how to. Like, if you can master Genji, like, he will never die. I accidentally put in my sword, but that's okay. But Genji can use his switch thing to move around fast or what. But Genji is just, for me, an overall good character, guys. I don't play him sadly, but he is I'm quite sad that like, he competes with Hanzo, so that's why Hanzo didn't make it, unfortunately. So, I'm doing pretty good with Hanzo right now, guys, but... I meant not Hanzo. Genji, but you guys can get a feel on how good Hanzo is, and how he is to play. But basically guys, I'm just gonna end the video right here and I'll see you dudes in the next video.